Okay, here I'm gonna show you guys how I made my buzz wing. I'm gonna show you what the four pieces that I have here. So first you're gonna take out a cylinder and this is all on tinkercad.com, the website's up top, so you just go there. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna size this to one inch because the center section is gonna be three quarter inch. So that's gonna be my initial center portion which you will start to see the shape take place. So I'm just sizing it to that. And then you just align the two by going up right there. You click those two boxes and then you center it up. And then I'm gonna press it down a little bit to make sure it goes all the way through. And then here I'm just changing the size and making this rectangle into a 0.5 inch. Doesn't matter about any other size, I'm using that just so I can slide it over the tube. And I'm gonna line that up. And that's gonna create our horseshoe if you would. And I'm gonna align these guys. So just one click there. And then I can see that it went all the way through, so that's what I want. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna group this and it's gonna show you the center portion, which is that horseshoe that you want. So the opening in the middle so you can slide it over the wing. You don't necessarily need it to be like that. You can actually just create it a full circle or you know, um, slide it over the tube. Sometimes when it's too thin and you use a thick plastic or whatever, it'll crack, so you just gotta be careful with that. Anyways, what I just did there was I pressed, I clicked in and I pressed the letter D and that kind of zeroed it out on the plane. Next, we're gonna go work on the wings. Now here, there's no specific size that you need to have, but you have to remember if you, it depends on the size of tube you're using. So you wanna make sure that the wing is at least on one side, at least half of the size of the tube. So the tubes that I have is I think it's a four inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the wing around a 2.5 inch. But here I'm messing with the settings, the radius and the steps. This is gonna help you make the shape of the wing. And you can see when you move it all the way to the right, it changes into some um, like a pointy part or whatever. But here, I pretty much am just gonna resize this so I can get a better visual of what the wing's supposed to look like. And um, now that I got the sizing the way I want it to, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust a little bit. And you can always mess with it later, so this isn't a super important part here because you can adjust everything towards the end. But I'm, whatever you make here, you're gonna copy and paste it so you can make a second one so you don't have to do all these steps again. So here I'm just doing a 2.5. I like to keep it as easy as possible. So the wing is a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make it a 0.2, and these are in inches here, so 0.2 inches, nice thin wing. Uh, you can make it even thinner if you wanted to, you can go down to a 0.1, but here I just copied and pasted it. So on the MacBook, it's Command C and Command V. So now that I got my wings out, I'm gonna go ahead and get the center pieces lined up, center piece with the wings, and then that kinda just gives you a little bit of visual of what it's gonna look like when it's lined up, so you go ahead and align it just in the center here, and you can see that it lines up. The center portion, we'll go ahead and adjust the size, that way it fills in the wing nicely. You don't want it to be uh, too small or too big and have any kind of edges hanging off, so go ahead and align it again. All right, now what we're gonna do is align the wings to the center piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. Now pay attention here to the, si um, the height so it's uh, 0 0.328. I'm gonna go ahead and press the black cone again and then type in 0 0.328. That's gonna raise it up to the same size or same level as the other side. And then now what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be moving over the wing into the centerpiece. So all I'm doing is holding shift and pressing the left and right arrows to move it in. So that's kind of getting me a little bit closer. I want to make sure that they're touching at least. Now I'm going to adjust the center portion to get it to a decent size to match the wings. And then align as always. Just keep aligning everything. Keeps everything easy. So now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to push the wing as far into the circle or the middle portion as I can. So. But first, what we're gonna do is get the angle of the wing, so 45 degrees, and mirror that on the other side. You're gonna do 45 degrees, but you're gonna go in the opposite direction. That's very important, make sure you have them opposites. And now that I have the wing the way I want it, 
I'm gonna go ahead and now hold the button, the shift button, and I'm gonna click the right arrow and keep going in. This is easier so you don't throw the alignment off. So you can try using your mouse, but this is easier. Gonna zoom in, click it, hit the right arrow, and when it kind of protrudes a little bit, push it back in a few. That ensures that it is pressed into the center portion as much as possible. And you're gonna repeat that same thing on the right side protrudes out, push it back out. You don't want anything hanging out there because it's going to obstruct when the tube goes in, but you want it in as far as you can so that way it's nicely pressed into it. So when you print it, you don't have a failure point. Here I'm just going to adjust the size again. And then I said, well, let me make it even, so 0.5. And as always, I'm going to be doing my alignment. <clears throat> Here it kind of starts to look a lot better. The sizing on it looks a little bit better. So now I'm going to go ahead and group it all together. And I just wanted to make sure it turned red, which it did now. So now I have it all grouped together. And then what you can do now is you can take the entire shape and press it into itself, like make it thinner. And that'll give you a nice size of the wing and the center portion proportionately. That way you don't have to mess with it later. So you can make it as skinny or as thick as you want. I made it here a little bit skinnier, but I'm going to actually make it a little bit thicker after I'm done. So that's how you make a quick wing if you can't find them online. Here's the rotation of it. So whenever it spins, that right wing is always facing up. That's what's going to get your thrust or your lift. And that's pretty much it. Use here, and then the thrust is going in that direction. You want to make sure that the wing on the right side is facing up like so because it's going to lift itself up and to show you a representation of what that would look like I'm going to grab this here you light the fuse and then it spins up in the air and every time it hits that rotation on the right side you see that the wing faces up it spins and it's facing up that's why it's important whenever you actually do the wings that they are in the opposite directions of each other that way you don't have them facing the same way and it causes the helicopter not to fly up. So that's why I wanted to show that. And then I actually spun it for you so you can see what it's doing to get a better idea. Now the wing here, it is a little bit skinnier. Not a big deal. Just kind of adjust it a little bit. The good thing is you can go as wide or whatever you want, but there's a certain size that it's going to be, I guess, the best for you. And you don't want to go too much on that. So that looks about right right there. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The wing here on the edge, it doesn't necessarily have to be pointy. You can make it pointy if you want, um, but I kind of like it like this. That way, in case it hits anyone, it doesn't you know, hit anybody and scratch their eye out or whatever because I have a pointy wing. But one last thing I didn't mention is if you do want to put something on the top there so that way it has a spot to you know, dance around or whatever you want to call it. You can use something like a triangle or you can just make a small whatever you want to call it uh like a cylinder or something and you can do that so you just put that right on top and that gives it the the cake well it's kind of hard to get it centered right now because of the way i have the view but you kind of get the point though it's pretty much you will have something up top so that way you have something for the helicopter to lift up on. I didn't include that in this one, but you get the gist of it. That's pretty much what I was gonna show you. So hopefully this was helpful. I know I didn't go over too much on the tutorial because it is Tinkercad, it's very straightforward. It's only basic shapes. I'm only adjusting those to make what I want. So it's nothing that I am doing that's extra special, like using Auto Fusion or whatever. Um, that one, 360 Fusion 360, is a little bit harder to use. That one has a lot of different changes and stuff and manipulating the shapes and all that. So I'm not doing that. Um, but if you follow along, you should be able to make a wing for yourself here and make a nice STL file. If you have a buddy with a 3D printer, they can print you out a few of these wings and you can try them out. Just like on my channel where I have a 3D printed uh, two-space helicopter shell, same way I made it on here, pretty much the same way I did it, but this is just going to be for the buzz bomb wing. And um, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until the next video.